Hey students, uh, it's Mr. Wynn here. Today I am going to show you how to use your TI-84 calculator to uh, multiply polynomials and add or subtract uh, polynomial expressions uh, when you are taking a, a multiple choice test. Okay, and this uh, uh, strategy I'm giving you will only work if you have multiple choice questions. Uh, otherwise, um, this will not work. Okay, so anyway, uh, you need TI-84 calculator or uh, 83 will work also. Um, what you're going to do is, uh, so what is the question asking? It's asking you to multiply 5a plus 6 by itself. That's what the square means, right? But you don't have to know that. You can just type this original expression. And what we're going to do is we're going to check the answer and see which one matches the original expression, right? So we're going to first go to y1 or y equals. And we're going to, in y1, we're going to type in uh, the given problem, okay? Oh, let's keep going, keep going away. So I'm going to type in parentheses, five. Okay, if they give you a, if you get, if they give you any kind of variable at all, that's going to be x, okay? Because your calculator will only take x. So change all the variables to x, okay? So it's five x plus six, and then squared, okay? You don't have to. You don't have to know what it means if you don't remember it. The square means multiply uh, by itself, but we don't have to type that. We, the square is a lot faster to type, right? Now in Y2, uh, Y2 is the one I'm using to test these answer choices. So I'm going to test A first, okay? I'm going to test A. 25X squared plus 36, okay? Now, why does this work? Well, it works because if they happen to be the same expression, then I can look at the tables. Uh, the tables would have the exact same value for y1 and y2. And that's exactly the trick that I'm showing you here. Second, graph to give you a table. And look at y1 and y2. Obviously, they are different values, right? They're not the same value. So our conclusion is choice A is different than the given problem. So choice A is not the answer. Okay, so we go back to y equals, we're going to clear out y2, and we're going to test b. Well, I have a feeling b is going to be wrong also because uh, choice a and choice b are very similar except one is plus 36 and one is minus 36. So you can make that judgment for yourself, or if you have time, which you should, you have plenty of time on the star test, you have like four hours, minus 36. You have time to do this, right? So I'm going to check choice B also, right? 25x squared minus 36. I'm going to look at the table. I have a feeling it's not the same. Yeah, uh, I was right, right? So if I knew that or if I if I trust my instinct, I would have skipped choice B and test choice C and save me some time, okay? But really, it's just a minute. I'm going to clear that. I'm going to test choice C now, right? So I'm going to do 25x squared plus 30x plus 36. And of course, I'm going to look at the table again, right? Second graph. And I'm going to look for y1 and 2 and make sure they match. Oh, no, this one doesn't match either. So I am 99% sure that choice D has to be the answer unless there's a mistake on the test, right? Because we test A, B, and C, they're not right. So just to, you know, cover that one percent of doubt we're gonna go ahead check D well I actually want to do it so that you can see what it means to be the answer so 25 X squared plus 60 X plus 36 I'd be surprised if there, there is a mistake anyway second graph to go to your table oh it's a lucky look at y1 and y2 Every single value of x matches exactly the same as y. Look at that. 81, 81, 16, 16, 1, 1. What does that tell you? It tells you that choice D is the exact match of the given problem. So choice D must be the correct answer. That's how you do it. All right. Now let's do adding and subtracting. It also work, right? I'm going to add I'm going to do the the adding. You can figure out the subtraction. It's pretty much the same, right? Just change this to subtract subtraction. So let's do an adding and subtracting, right? So we're doing the same thing. I'm going to clear out everything I have there. And I, or the original problem will always go into y1 and I will make sure that I type it in exactly as it is given, right? So parentheses and then 3x squared 
minus 5x minus 6. Close parentheses. Make sure you put a plus sign there. Plus, and then parentheses again, 5x squared plus 4x plus 4. All right. Now, of course, if you know how to add these, I wouldn't use a calculator, right? Uh, this tutorial is for students who forgot how to combine like terms and how to do all the adding and subtracting or when the expression is way too messy to deal with, right? So this is a hack, okay? This is a hack to get you to pass the test. So there is no conceptual understanding here that you need, okay? So take it or leave it. But I'm telling you as, as what it is, okay? All right, <clears throat> Y2, I am going to test each of these answer choices until I find the right one. So I'm gonna test A first. So 8x squared plus x minus 2. So obviously if you know how to do this, this video is useless to you, okay? This video is only useful for people who are either don't know how to combine like terms or add, subtract uh, polynomials, or for people who are lazy because their polynomials are too messy and too long. They don't want to do the handwork. They can use the calculator to verify the answers. All right, so I finished typing in choice A. I'm going to look at the table, second graph, and look at Y1 and 2. Uh, obviously they're different, so choice A is wrong. I'm going to clear that, clear Y2, right? And you'll get faster as you do this, okay? 2x squared, I'm testing B now. 2x squared minus x, oops, minus just 1x, okay? Minus 2, minus 2, okay? Go to your table. Y1 and Y2, are they the same? Nope, they're not. So clear Y2. Notice I don't clear my original problem, okay? Now test C. C is going to be 8x squared minus x minus 2. Minus x minus 2. Second table. Oh, look. 397, 397, 291, 291, 203. What does that tell you? It tells you that C is the answer. I just tested C, right? 8x squared minus x minus 2 sees the answer. That's how you do it, guys, okay? I hope that this is helpful for you when you are taking your STAR test um, to help you feel more confident so you can pass this, this test, okay? And the conceptual understanding might come later, okay? And, and I think uh, when you get to a higher math class, this will be uh, no problem for you, okay? But this little hack is just to help you get through the test. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe uh, to see more useful videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.